I'm Liz Joy, and I'm excited to be running for Congress in the 20th Congressional District. My district is made up of all of Albany and Schenectady counties, and half of Montgomery, Rensselaer, Saratoga counties, including Saratoga Springs. I wholeheartedly believe that the 2020 elections will be like none other than we've ever seen before. I believe they're going to be a literal showdown between socialism, which the Democrats are aggressively pushing for, and our constitutional freedoms, which the Republican Party is standing strong for. These elections are about respecting and valuing human life and voting life to innocent, viable babies, or voting death to these babies through abortion anytime, on demand, and then even on the table. Voting life to our country and finally achieving a secure southern border? Or voting death and socialism by an out-of-control inundation of illegal immigration and influx of opioids, including deadly fentanyl, that are killing our children? Unruly sanctuary cities, dangerous gangs, and unprecedented sex trafficking. Voting life to our New York, small businesses, and the ability to flourish? or voting death by socialism, more taxes and regulation that's felt especially hard in upstate New York and the district that I'm seeking to represent. Voting life and freedom to our healthcare choices, choosing our medical providers and helping our upstate New York community hospitals like Saratoga Hospital, Ellis Hospital, St. Peter's Albany Medical Center, and St. Mary's Hospital stay viable or voting death to those choices and sinking those hospitals, trying to stay afloat under the disguise of Medicare for all, which only hurts patients because providers actually have to cut their services, voting life to our wallets, savings accounts, and college funds, or voting death by more democratic overreach and intrusion into all of them. 2020 is a matter of life, freedom, and prosperity to our country, our New York, our citizens, our children, or Death, loss of freedom, and loss of prosperity by outright self-proclaimed progressives and socialists. I'm running against Congressman Paul Tonko, a man who has been living off the people's purse for 40 years. He eagerly supports the Green New Deal, which will cost trillions of dollars that you'll pay for. He voted against our police officers and law enforcement officers' lives and well-being on the Protect and Serve Act, which made it a federal crime to assault a police officer during interstate commerce. Well, that's a disgrace, and police officers are literally losing their lives because of it. We have unprecedented levels of attacks and bullying on our brave law enforcement, and it's got to stop. Congressman Paul Tonko has been very vocal about supporting the impeachment of our president, Donald Trump. He was also voted one of the most liberal representatives in the House by his own peers in the National Review. Well, I'm running for Congress because I want my children and your children, the next generation, to be able to afford to come back to our beautiful state and live and raise their families. I want to see the next generation inherit a country whose constitutional foundations and freedoms are strong and intact, one that allows the opportunity to pursue the American dream and one that values human life. I grew up here, I love this country, and I love upstate New York. I fully believe this race for the 20th district is winnable. I will fight as hard as I can to bring our values, our voices, and strong common sense principles to Washington, D.C. I fully support our President Donald Trump and Vice President Pence. I've always backed both of them 100%, and I will continue to do so in my district. I promise to fight as hard as I can, and I hope that I can count on all of you for your support. Please donate on the link that I've included. It's joyfornewyork.com. This is for our children and our grandchildren, the legacy they'll inherit. You can donate any amount, and everything helps. You're making a difference in the next generation's future. God bless you, God bless America, and God bless the 20th Congressional District.